Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Mez back from Blast Burn Radio. As promised, we're hunting Amanda Buzz. We are here on the day of the, the Vulture Day. Um, we ran down to pick this up. Uh, Amanda Buzz only appears on Thursdays in uh, Black 2. So we, we t- time wizarded our way to the future uh, just so we can get this all, all straightened, hunting this sweet, sweet baby. Um, it took me a while to figure out where it was, and then I realized that this there was this little tucked area over here. There was a couple battles that we still need to fight, uh, so we're going to see if we can catch this and then do do all that needs to be done. I, I think the plan is to paralyze it, uh, sonic boom it, and see if we can't get it in a Pokeball. So let's let's get it done. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's also level 25. All right, first things first, Slender Wave. Oh my God, it's Nasty Plot. That is exceptionally bad. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Get the sonic boom off. Oh, it nasty plotted, but it's using physical moves. It still did not feel super great. Oh, Lord. I really, 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 really hope that nearly half and paralyzed is enough to get you in this great ball. It is fucking not. We'll push you into the yellow. One more shouldn't kill you. You're in the red. I can't hit you any more than that. Oh, sweet lord. Please stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. I don't know what you have for, for moves, but this is absurdly terrifying. At some point, I'm going to have to switch out into something else. Come on. You're in the red and paralyzed. Why do you do this to me? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Scott will get out of here. You have lefties, which is good. Just keep throwing, keep throwing Pokeballs. One, two, three, good. Oh my God. I was not. I was not even remotely prepared for the possibility that this thing had early game nasty plot. That was poor research on my part. Uh, Mandibuzz is the bone vulture Pokemon. I swear to God, if I open this thing up and it has a special move, I'm going to scream because that was so fucking risky to stay in if it did. Uh, they fly in circles around the sky. When they spot their prey, they attack and carry it back to their nest with ease. Oh, yeah. We want to give a nickname to Amanda Buzz. We're naming you Ziggy. 
after uh, one of the vultures from the Jungle Book. I, uh, it's in the PC. I can't, I can't look. Let's heal everybody up. Let's go handle these. Uh, fights we haven't done yet. Let's use a super potion. Everybody else is in pretty, pretty good spirit, pretty good health. Let's move some of this shit around. Let's go do that doubles battle. I'm really nervous about this. Your biker crew. Cogni and Petalil. Okay. This is not the worst of things that could be. Let's get the Petalil out of here. Just get it gone before it sleep powders somebody. There's the Mega Drain. Which did not hurt that badly. Alright. That wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. And we got one more of these jackasses to deal with up north. I think we got a police officer down bottom that we need to fight as well. And as a point of note, while I was off figuring out where the, the heck this thing spawns and when, what day, whatever, um, please do not have a fighting move to murder me with, Darumaka. I did find out that I cannot get to the portion of the relic castle I want to go to until we have bulldoze so yeah uh it's gonna be a week or two or a section or two until we get there uh, sure i don't want to fight with anything. let's get ourselves back down here deal with one more Policeman. Oh, you have a hurt ear. You also got a Growlithe. Sweet baby Growlithe. Doggo Patrol. Get that return. Here comes the hurt ear. I don't think this thing is going to kill me in one hit. I can get some good... Uh, yeah. Good shit. It's all good. I think this is everybody who is fightable out here. We got the two fishermen. We still have people in the desert that need defeating, so we'll head back over there. Take care of that issue heal up over here and then we'll head to Nimbasa City and see what's going on in town look around take a look at what's what's happening and then any team changes that we make will happen before the the next episode basically I'm going to decide who is going to be on the squad to deal with uh, the gym leader I think at minimum there are going to be uh, some small roster changes happening. Scuttle's been pretty good for us. I don't know if Scuttle stays on the main like all the time team. I mean I was supposed to go to the desert and I totally didn't do that. 
Felissa, yeah. Cool. What's going on over here? In Gear Station, you can have Pokemon battles in the subway. So I came here to test my skills. What do you know? The subway bosses were here. Isn't that amazing? I mean, they're the strongest trainers in Gear Station. They said they'd battle if it's two on two. I do not... I do not wish to do that at the moment. Oh, a person. Only the strongest can enter this battle institute. If you beat the champion, come back. All right. Neat. What's going on here, you guys? Beauteous Mincino. Oh no. <laughs> it's the metal guy. Have another medal. No, I'm, I'm really good. What have I done? It would be great if I just got medals when I met the qualifications for them. So that I didn't have to do this. Again and again. And again. And one more time. Guys, we're going to be here for a hot minute. Game Freak, why did you think this was a good idea? This is unbelievably obnoxious. I don't need hint medals. I don't want to know anything about medals. I do not like... I guess we're going to continue to look around town. There's some red shards. Which is cool. Let's sell stuff. Let's sell this nugget. Let's get that out of here. Oh boy, the grip claw. That's super exciting. Sell this Stardust. Alright, don't need to do anything in here. What about you? Three Pokemon for triple battles. Triple battles are fucking terrifying. Some people's Pokemon still have... People have been reunited with their Pokemon from the Team Plasma incident? That's sad. The Wonder Launcher. Nope, nope, nope. Tennis? Okay. Oh, nice. A Soothe Bell. That'll be helpful. gets me is I have that Eevee in the bank and I cannot for the life of me get a stone for a while I can get them in caves off of the shaky spots which is great but I cannot get them out of the relic passage the only thing I can get in the relic passage is um, speaking of stones um what is the word I want to look for? Uh, shards. Can only get shards. Which is, I mean, fantastic for later. I got a, a ton of them. But I can't get other cool shit. Excuse me. There's a clown. I can also get one. Uh, like on the ground in a cave near... 
Captain Cowboy's gym later. Okay, definitely do not want to walk in there. There's the musical theater section of town. Oh god, I almost forgot about the big and small court stuff. Small court, tennis and basketball. It seem like there's a whole lot going on. I don't, I don't want to accidentally walk into any fucking gym buildings, I can tell you that. There's nobody on the team is anywhere near prepared. For that. So I guess let's head back to the desert, fight some trainers. I'm not terribly upset with the haul we got in terms of Pokemon. Mandibuzz will be real good at some point. Um, you are a doctor, nurse. If I beat you, you'll heal people, I think. Look at that sweet baby Kleppa. Now a dead baby Cleffa. Alright, cool. We can do that. Pokemon. There's a fighty person in front of us, so. It would be better if you had a water type Pokemon. You are. Not wrong. Ranger Jaden. Let's get a return out on this thing. It's a pretty... He's a single Pokemon, so... I was gonna say, it's high, high level for the trainers we've been seeing, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Did not matter. Oh boy, a Rossberry. Nope. Let's put Servine back in front. We run around this crazy place. We fought with you. We haven't fought with you. Okay. You don't want to fight, though. Relic Castle's been disappearing a little at a time. Treasure. The fun mission, get rich quick. Uh, there is a psychic over there. Let's get Radigan. Radigan into position. There we go. Aw, it's a Muna. I really dig Muna. It's just a floating blob. I have no idea why, but I still like it. Piece of cake. Got anything else going on over here? There's the relic castle. Here's an encounter. I'm 
baby Daromaka. You ain't shiny, so we don't get you. Secret agent man. Soft sand, we'll take it. Here's an item. Yellow shard. I bet you want to fight. You're walking around like you want to fight. Oh, this flame baby. You dead. I did not get burned though. More Ross berries. Good. Fight with you. There's a lot of people in this desert. You know, I was kind of bummed out when I got Radigan because I really kind of felt like I needed that Crobat for the gym. Radigan's put in put in uh, good work. We are most pleased with her contributions. Exceptionally dangerous. Run the fuck away. We're pretty much done in here at this point. Yeah. We're good. We are good. Which means we're headed back to Nimbasa. We're going to check out what we got uh, in terms of quality for the encounters in the computadores and then we are i don't know if we're going to wander into the amusement park side of town I think we have to do that battle subway thing. I'm not positive though. All right, computer. Tell me, tell me your secrets. What is in this box? Mr. Big, Sirius Sandville, Summer. So neutral nature. Not the worst. We can live with that. We got this Moxie Sandile. Moxie is not a bad ability. Intimidate, I think, would have been preferable to deal with some of the um, physical threats that I am dealing with from Celeste and from Jolly. It'd be nice to be able to switch in a EV trained for HP. Uh, HP and attack little little guy or larger guy later later on to lower hurtier lower hurtier attack stats but I mean, we'll take it and you are up defense no you are up special defense down defense wonderful <laughs> great could be worse, I suppose. Summary. You are up attack. Down special attack. 
cool. Not too shabby. You are weak armor. I'm not sure how how I feel about uh, your speed being lowered. Uh, speed being raised, your defense being lowered when you are intended to be more of a physical wall, but... Oh, saved by the fact that you only had physical attacks. Sweet mother of mercy. So I think the real question that we have this week, and I don't necessarily know the answer, is like what... We can field a team of eight for PvP, but what comes off of, of the roster? Like, I think Manny is going regardless. There are no psychic Pokemon running around right now, so not the most worried about the the dark coverage from uh, Mandibuzz from Ziggy. What is this? Trainer tips. Musical theater. No. This should be a room and not just a segue. Okay. Nice. That is excellent. Leads to Route 16 in the Marvelous Bridge. I could have sworn there was an amusement park in this town. We're gonna look at our map here momentarily. Town map. That is definitely not the way we're going to be going. We are gonna be headed that way. I imagine, based off of the routes, Route 5 is over there. Clay Tunnel. Alright, well you are not where we want to go. But the Macho Brace is really helpful for training those new good folks that we found. This seems the way to the amusement park. Uh, not sure how I feel about this necessarily. I'm feeling kind of nervous. So I don't want to walk into a wrong building and have to deal with being locked into a gym before I'm ready. Loves music. Cool. I'm not going in there. At all. Thanks. Yeah, there's a revive in the trash. Oh man, this was the scene of N's creepster wheel uh, in black and white. Let's have a battle and prove who rocks hardest. Nope. That seems suspicious as fuck. That's an Arduino. Neat. I wander around here in terror of the fact that there are two gym buildings. Clyde, I'm not talking to you. start challenging anybody in here I think it's going to be time to make those team changes which means leveling and getting a bunch of shit done 
Um, so what I was saying earlier was I don't know what we're going to do with the team. I think Manny is coming off the team quad week to fire in our current situation with our rival having a fire Pokemon is way dangerous. And frankly, so much of the team is weak to fire. Something that is weak to fire has to go, has to leave 100%. And I think that is Manny. Uh, Manny is just going to exit the team. Uh, what goes in Manny's place? One of our ground Pokemon, uh, most definitely. I think, I think, I have to look at what level they evolve, but I'm pretty sure, sure that's, I think Sandshrew evolves at like in the 20s. So we could have a Sand Slash for the gym, which is good. That'd be great. I don't know if Sand Isle evolves this week or not. I'm gonna have to have to check that. <laughs> uh, inevitably, only like one of those ground Pokemon is going on the squad. Obviously, Crocodile is a much better long-term investment. Depending on when Sand Isle evolves, Sand Slash may be a better investment for this week in particular. Then the question becomes, what do we do with Scuttle versus Ziggy. So two flying Pokemon, don't want to have that in my eight. It's gonna be one or the other. Now, Tranquil is not a great Pokemon. It just is not. Uh, Scuttle has been doing good work for us. Uh, most assuredly, Workup is, is working out really well and we may continue to utilize Scuttle, but I need to look at what Mandibuzz is gonna to bring to the team. Uh, it is a bulkier, option i mean the weak armor is bad i don't know what i'm going to do about that but i suppose if i was going to get weak armor at least he's got uh or she's got an up attack nature don't know we'll figure out how that goes the final question is what do i do about eevee so stones there's a water stone in uh next week there's a water stone next week that i can most assuredly get vaporeon would give me a bulky water pokemon which frankly would be pretty fantastic that's pretty cool uh pretty awesome and we have fire problems so that'd be legitimately great and vaporeon is a good water this is just a good water uh, our options for good water are kind of up in the air uh, this gen, there's more stuff than there was in black and white, but that is that is still a concern. On the flip side, uh, we could evolve it now that we're through the bug gym into an Espeon and pick up a psychic type. Now, my opponents are not running, well, one of them is not running a whole lot of fighting right now, but we do have a pig knight that needs to be dealt with. Not that Espeon wants to switch into like a flame charge from pig knight. Does not, but... Espeon's fast, it's got high special, it hits almost everything here and out there right now, like neutral. The concern is, is that this week my opponents will get access to dark type Pokemon and the benefit that we see from it would be largely neutralized. The alternative is to go Umbreon. We could do, we could do that. We could have a really tanky pain in the ass uh, Pokemon who would be a pretty decent wall. Again, not a lot of fighting running around, not a lot of killer bugs at the moment. But no toxic right now. I don't even know if we can get toxic until post game. So our ability to kill things on said Umbreon would be limited. I think waiting for Vapor Vaporeon is the better option but I legitimately don't know and I have to think about it because I don't have a lot of team options right now. I need to fill out the squad in a way that is going to be conducive for us to get through not just this gym, but also PVP. So I got some thinking to do. Uh, I'll be back after like grinding and everything else bring everybody up real close to where they need to be for the gym. We'll take care of that trainer in front of whatever fucking building that is, the Ferris wheel or whatever. 
and the station over there if we need to do that. Again, don't remember. Think think we do. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll do the gym. Uh, we're going to try to do the gym on hard. I'm reasonably certain. i got to look at what, what moveset her Pokemon have. But I think with some ground immunity flying around, that may be doable. So, I will catch you all later. Thank you for hanging out for video two of this cycle. And we will... See you soon. Hey everybody, it's Mez here from Blast Run Radio. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure in Unova. Our Black 2 series will be continuing through Season 7 of Blast Run Radio Podcast, and we don't want you to miss a second of it. Hit that subscribe button down below, and maybe even the bell right next to it, so you can be notified when new content is available. From all of us here at Blast Run Radio, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.